Good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon. Here we are. We are not live, but one of these days with this technology that we do have today, I will go live. No, that's not going to work, right? Because I can see Eric or Angela coming down the hallway while they're on a YouTube live to try to win kudo points. So never mind. Forget that. We won't go live. <laughs> uh, Nisha will be asleep. Today is February the 16th. It's 2.43 p.m., folks. And I'm going to kick off this YouTube huddle by introducing our latest addition to our Sponsor family here. And uh, so without, you know, um, any further ado, let's go ahead and give a grand entrance to, please state your name. Amy Kanapin. All righty, <laughs> folks. Talk about putting her on the spot there. Am I, are you, I'm, I can't even tell if you're <laughs> yes, in the view. Okay, good. Uh, I'm Amy's personal uh, YouTube department huddle stand. There you go. Uh, Amy Kanapik joined us officially for her first day on site yesterday. And she has been added to the ultrasound uh, staff. Uh, so Amy, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Well, I just came back from New York. I uh, just got engaged and I'm planning a wedding in New York. <laughs> what part of New York? In New Fane. It's upstate. Upstate? New, yes. New, 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 New. And you just came back. Uh, pretty cold, a lot of snow. Yes. Oh and I got God. to see the vineyard that I'm getting married on. Nice. Yes. Awesome. It's great. And we just got a new dog. <laughs> what kind of dog? It's a mutt from the Humane Society. There's nothing wrong with those. There's nothing. Well, he has a lot of issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to give mine away. But no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Uh, half the staff knows that already. I'm not kidding. That. Yes, I am. No. <laughs> um, how long have you been a technologist? Um, I've been an x-ray tech for four and a half years. I just graduated from ultrasound. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. So Amy's going to be playing a role uh, here primarily in the ultrasound department, but we are not going to rule out any, utilizing any of her wonderful radiology skills. Tell us a little bit of where you came from. Um, what hospital? I just came from Driscoll Children's Hospital. Um, as an x-ray tech, we did everything OR, fluoro, um, specials cases. I did it all in x-ray. So. Awesome. Welcome to the family, Amy. I, I appreciate you taking the time to give us a little introduction. And I know you have a Venus study to get to, so I'll let you get back to that Venus study. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Amy. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. All right, so we're not going to uh, pause here. Don't y'all log off right now. I know y'all are probably just like clearing it up thinking we're done. We're not done. We got some more topics. Okay, right. Thank you, Amy. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to, first and foremost, the Glenn survey is in the books. The Glint survey is in the books and we did it hit 100%. Thank you very much. I did, on the last YouTube huddle, I did go over the results already. I did print them up. These are y'all's results. These are y'all's focus. And I did, I do have a deadline, okay? I do have a deadline. Uh, as a manager, they want to know, when did you discuss these Glint results with your staff? Um, and it was the last YouTube huddle. And what top, what fo what is going to be your focus area? And the focus areas that I chose... Um, it's going to be accountability. So we're going to all hold each other accountable. And you know what? We do, folks. Okay? We do. Also, what I also did was we were able to achieve another deadline that I have is our six-month conversation. Okay? So this roster that I have here, guys, y'all made this possible. And I, I appreciate that. It was kind of like a, a two-fold thing, a glint survey and a six-month conversation. So with that being said, I got called out by one of our... Uh, uh, one of our corporate uh, people who works in the quality who was able to say, uh, hey, David, you have a few minutes so we can talk about how you were able to achieve your six-month conversation and what was your process. I'm telling you, folks, they want to know. And each and every one of you that I marked off the list, you did acknowledge that we did have that conversation. You did acknowledge that we did do that performance review. So thank you all very, very much. Now, uh, along with that, we also recorded, we also recorded in the trusty book of of my rounding log in terms of how you doing, okay? Ah, that was a terrible impression. Terrible impression, okay? So I'll tell you what. In the group chat, whoever gives me their best, how you doing, eh? 500 kudo points. But you got to put it in your own meme, and we got to hear you, okay? Hear you. <laughs> That's right. I said it, 500 kudo points, okay? Even if it's submitted, you get 500 kudo points. But it's got to be video of yourself saying, how you doing, okay? There you go. How's that? All right, so the rounding log. <laughs> I just, uh, it's a good thing you can't read my writing, Melissa Cruz. <laughs> okay, that wasn't nice. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about in terms of the handwriting department. Uh, some of y'all don't. <laughs> 
Birthday shout outs, birthday shout outs. Here we go. Oh, speaking about shout outs. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> we did this. I, I, I gave him a shout out last time. And um, y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I did a subliminal shout out last month and you know that that was nobody's gonna figure that out right it's come on so so let's let's give let's give him a shout out yes you know who i'm talking about i'm talking about ricky lofton how's that huh ricky lofton i hope he's watching this right now with katie lofton I'm about to start something there okay so we're gonna leave that alone here um uh where am i where am i where am i um we're gonna stop right there so we added uh, how about another trivia question? Ready? Five minutes and 47 minutes into the uh, YouTube, we're going to have our second trivia question. For 500 kudo points, whoever responds first correctly, Amy Knappick, Knappick has now been added to our birthday shout outs. And what month does she celebrate her birthday? Okay, so the first one who, who answers that correctly, uh, and Amy is not eligible to play, she knows that. <laughs> 500 kudo points for that okay so wow here we are february shout outs did we do this already or no i can't remember christina tucker february the 7th happy belated birthday there you go yes we did because i remember crossing off mark hamilton but nevertheless and gilbert cruz so the birthdays are done okay february 7th and february 3rd gilbert cruz uh celebrated february 3rd and christina tucker february 7th all right so uh, we did we did uh, do the shout out but here you go you got two shout outs all right how's that all right so nevertheless, Feb, uh, let's proceed on. February 22nd is the uh, deadline to comply with the vaccine mandate. And you know what, folks? Radiology is 100%. That's all I got to tell you. Radiology is 100% compliant. We do not have any outliers out there. So we're good. Uh, I, I love it when we can just check it off. That's another... Uh, thing that I had on my report that I have to, uh, uh, that's why I've been in this office so much. I've been having to catch up and, and knock out some of these but, uh, reports and some of these deadlines that I have. The Glint survey, check. Uh, six month conversation, check. Uh, the uh, pay for performance review, which is going to be next year, but we still did that performance evaluation, check. Mm, what else? What else? Empty my kudos buckets. And I'm going to empty my kudos bucket, 100% of it uh by the 28th that's coming up so stay tuned for more uh kudo points to, to be given away so uh let's see here military uh, patient jewelry real important uh real important we had a two-week span a couple of weeks ago and for t uh, during a two-week span we had three complaints about patients jewelry being lost okay so earrings were displaced um uh, a neck chain was left in CT. Security came over and found it. Uh, these things come to me sooner or later. Okay, they don't come to me in real time. And uh, but there are variances put out there. They have to document anytime security is involved. They have to document what have you. So with that being said, folks, um, <laughs> Lynn, you don't know this yet, but I'm going to ask of you to order. Let's order some uh, some containers, denture cups, and let's just stack them in different departments. If you have to take a patient's jewelry, if you have to remove patient's jewelry. Um, they have earrings on and you're doing a CT scan of their brain. Folks, we know we need it off, okay? Um, ask the patient to remove the jewelry. If they can keep it in their hand, hold it in their hand, so be it. If they're unresponsive, they're unable to, and we have to take it from them, we own it now. We own it. So put it in a denture cup, seal it. If you have to write the last name, room number, or put a label on it. We don't have labels on all the patients. Please complete the process by handing it back to the patient and or document it when you take the patient back to where they belong who did you actually hand off the jury to okay yes i know we could leave it i mean if you put it back on the patient so be it so that's fine okay but at least the patient has it on there or preferably if they can hold it in their hands because if they can remove their own earrings guess what just hang on to it i don't want it hang on to it just i don't need it but then you can either put it back or put it in your purse give it to a loved one Ultimately, we if we remove it and we handle their jewelry, folks, we're responsible for it. So please make sure we close the loop and hand it to the nurse and document it on the PAX request, on the PAX, on the Meditech request, gave it to so-and-so, gave it to Russell, gave it to, to Pamela, 
document who you gave it to because if it's in packs, I can see they come back a week later. Hey, lost some jewelry. Let me look in packs. Oh, no, it's, yes, jewelry was removed, but we did return it to Pam because the patient was unable to care for her own uh, possessions. Keep that in mind, folks. Uh, Pre-op chest x-rays, you know what? If you have a neck chain, just hold it up on your chin. Hold it up on your chin. Don't remove it. Just hold it up on your chin as long as it's not a big, big medallion or a big old clock or something like that. Um, so if you're x-raying Flavor Flav, yeah, you're going to have to have him remove his neck chain. So with that being said, folks, um, let's go ahead and be uh, aware of the stuff that we have, the patients that we take from the patients to make sure we return their possessions and or just let them contain it themselves. Okay, so keep that in mind. The other thing that I posted on our communication board is our hand hygiene audit. Radiology did not meet their goal, folks. Okay, we were at 80%. You say, well, how is that? Well, if you look at this, this form right here, the, the secret shopper audited five radiology associates, okay? And out of those five radiology associates, only 80%, only 80% right here on this bar foamed in or foamed out. We, we have to meet, I mean, we want 100% each and every time, but we want it, our, our uh, goal is 95%. So this is posted on the communication board. I'm telling you right now, every month we do have a mystery shopper out there. I don't even know who that mystery shopper is, okay? I can tell you right now, it's not me. If they do not see you foaming into the room or foaming out of the room, they will ding you. And when they brought that to my attention, I said, can you give me, can you please give me a name? Because we as mystery shoppers, if we see someone who is not compliant, we must get their name and we must educate right there on the spot or verbalize it to their managers so that the manager can have that discussion with them. So they couldn't give me a name either. So I need names. I need names so that we can basically coach, remind. Or I did. I did foam in inside the room. As I walked out, they, yeah, they didn't see me. You know, they're watching. Just do this hand action like that, folks. Um, th that's 12 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let me spend the next five minutes in discussing a topic that is near and dear to everybody that I rounded with. Okay. And this is unanimous. And I, as a manager, and, and have to have discussions with uh, co-workers. Okay. And at times they're difficult discussions to have, but you know what? They're, they're necessary discussions. Okay. So the staff has spoken and they've requested that when it comes to the RTAs, we're going to ask that we keep the chatter to a minimum on the vocera. Okay. And let me explain what that means. Basically, this is how we communicate here at work. This is exactly how people, when we, when we are in front of a patient, if this walkie talkie goes off, they understand that we are answering the phone or answering our walkie talkie and they have, they will not be the least bit upset that, oh, you, you answered your phone. I mean, unless you're in the middle of a procedure, <laughs> if you're, if you're handing a, a scope to a doctor or a catheter to a doctor and you answer it while you're, you're doing that, that's, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. For the most part, when we do call somebody, just know that on the flip side of that, there is always somebody listening, whether it's a patient, whether it's a coworker, whether it's the president of Spawn South, whether it's the CNO of Spawn South, just know that whenever you use this device, be respectful, professional, knowing on the other side, somebody is listening, okay? So when I basically hit this to communicate, to speak to somebody, just we're going to keep it short, brief, concise, to the point, okay? So, um, and, and I can appreciate at times when I've called uh, one of my associates, oh, hey, David, I'm with the patient right now. That's okay. I, I'm, I would expect that, folks, because this is what we do, okay? So, yes, I know. I'm, I'm always going to assume you're with a patient right now, okay? And I'm going to make sure I do not divulge personal information, you know? If I need to speak to you basically in a private matter, I'll just basically, hey, come to my office. Let's go over the schedule. Hey, let's go over your hours. Hey, I'm not going to do a detailed full explanation there. So with that being said, when it comes to uh, the other your other peers, if somebody's calling an RTA and they need a, a, a patient, the, the, mass, the majority of everybody has asked, please just, we're going to tell you exactly what we need, what we want. 
Hey, Eric. This is MRI. I need patient in room 428 Garza. That's all you can say. And at that point, that person is done. The response on the flip side should be, yes, this is this is part of my job description. This is part of my duty, right? So five minutes, I'm on my way. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Give me an ETA. Give me an ETA so A, I can know how long to expect you before you come in uh, with my patient. Um, or if I'm going to go get it myself. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. But we're going to go ahead and just keep it short, concise, professional, to the point. Uh, and the staff has basically requested, you know, because I've got a patient waiting for me. I've got paperwork to do. I've got packs. I've got Meditech to do. And I I'm trying to get ahead of the game because this is one of my efficiency ways to, hey, get ahead of the game. Uh, get ahead of the game. Call call your RTA. Ask them, that, hey, I need this patient next so that they can be coming as that patient's coming out. And then they can take that one up, you know, and what have you. So, hey, I got a patient to come down from room 428. And then on your way down, I got one to go back up. You know what I need. You, you you know what's needed. We have our we have our marching orders. Give me an give me an ETA. I'm on my way. Five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes. We don't need a play by play, okay? So because you know what, you're with a patient at that time. So just acknowledge. That's all we need, folks. Okay. I'm at the 16 minute mark. I, I potentially have given away thousands of kudos. Okay. If we can answer Amy Kanapik's birth month, there's somebody's going to get 500 kudo points. If y'all can give me your best impression on a on the chat group video of how you doing, I'm gonna give another 500 kudo points away. So with that being said, I know I probably forgot something else, but I maybe I didn't. But that's for the next YouTube huddle, folks. Okay. So with that being said, folks, have a great afternoon.